Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to calculate electrical conductivity and charge transfer resistance using Nyquist plot. First, we will see how we can calculate the electrical conductivity. This is the equation or you can say the formula for electrical conductivity where sigma represents the electrical conductivity T is the electrode thickness, R is the bulk resistance and A is the electrode area. Now let's see how to fabricate electrodes. To fabricate electrode, you should have a 3D printed mold where you can easily cast your synthesized material and keep it for drying either at room temperature or you can put it in hot air oven to accelerate the drying process. Depending on the type of material, synthesis method can be different. But in my case, I used simple solution mixing method. Next, let us see the two electrode cell. Since this is two electrode cell where we can see the reference electrode is combined with the counter electrode which plays dual role for the application of voltage and the measurement of current. So the first electrode is your counter electrode and second, uh, second one is your working electrode. Once your electrodes are dried, you can sandwich that electrode between these two stainless steel electrodes and measure the impedance spectra. Now we will see using the impedance spectra how we can determine the bulk resistance value and the charge transfer resistance. So let's see how we can do that. Let me open the excel sheet. This is my EIS data already fitted with the equivalent circuit model. I will copy it and paste into the origin so that we can plot the graph. So here is the Nyquist plot. Now listen carefully. To determine the bulk resistance, we have to identify the point where this curve intersects the x-axis. Let me show you how. So this is the curve and here it is intersecting. We can use the data reader to highlight and here is your bulk resistance that is 133. Now let's put this value into the equation and find out the electrical conductivity. I am adding here the bulk resistance value extracted from the Nyquist plot to calculate the electrical conductivity. So the value is 133, uh, the electrode thickness is 0.2 cm and area is 0.785 cm square. Since my electrodes are in circular shape, so I use this pi r square formula. The value of pi is 3.1416. Since the diameter is 1 cm, the radius is half of that. So after putting all these values, the final area value will be 0.785 cm square. Now let's find the electrical conductivity. So click on the so click here and press equal symbol and in the numerator we have thickness then divide this with bulk resistance and multiply with area and this is your final electrical conductivity value with unit Siemens per centimeter now let's see how we can calculate charge transfer resistance before that i have added here uh, one image for your reference like how other researchers are determining the bulk resistance 
i have also added more references to the description so that you can read uh, so that you can read for your deep understanding now let's see about the charge transfer resistance so this is like uh, the schematic on x axis there is a real impedance and y axis there is imaginary impedance and this is the semicircle so the charge transfer resistance is the diameter of the semicircle where a right side of this semicircle can be extrapolated to find out charge transfer resistance let me show you how so you can extrapolate this semicircle to the real axis and this is your charge transfer resistance value that's it so we have seen uh, how to find out the charge transfer resistance how to extract the bulk resistance value from the nyquist plot and how we utilize that bulk resistance value to determine the electrical conductivity if you have any question please feel free to comment it and i will be more happy to respond to you if you really like this video please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues until then see you in the next video